In this video, we will show you how to use GoDaddy domain with Gmail. It is a straightforward and clearly described in the video, so follow all the steps. But before we dive into all of it, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. So, let's begin. Okay, for us to be able to understand how to use a GoDaddy domain with a Gmail, what I did was I went to a Google Workspace admin help. Now here, here's some of step-by-step process on how we can do that. All right. Uh, if you're wondering why do we need to do this, say for example, when someone sends a message to um, sales at your company.com, the sender's computer looks up to uh, the MX records. All right, to figure out where to deliver that email message and before your company can use gmail with their google workspace account you need to change your domain's mx records so they direct to your incoming messages to google mail um servers right now every domain like yours say for example um easy earl company.com has a set of dns records that can be viewed by anyone on the internet now dns records tells tells computers how to find your website and where to deliver your company's email messages you have to get your new mx records from the uh, google workspace setup tool of course you need to sign into your domain registrar delete an existing mx records for your domain that route messages to your current email provider and of course you can add the uh, google mx records now, once your domain register publishes the uh, Google MX records, they will activate Gmail for your domain. And Google cannot change your um, MX records for you. Only the domain's owner can do this, all right? Now, before you begin, DNS records have been around since the beginning of the internet. And this can be a challenging task. And these steps are different for each domain. Now, here, Google Workspace tried to make this task as easy as possible. All right. So please uh, read carefully if you're still following. We'll get through with this. Now, let's get ready to activate Gmail. Every existing email address in your company has to be associated with a Google Workspace account and use the uh, setup tool to add any remaining email accounts. And make sure now is a good time to make this change because it can take up to 48 hours for the rest of the internet to learn about your new MX records, right? Your old email provider might receive some messages during this time. The first thing is you need to sign into your GoDaddy account, right? Make sure you have the account ID and password. You need to sign into that. And if you have, again, trouble signing into your GoDaddy account, go to your GoDaddy password here. Now, open the google workspace setup tool you must use the uh, google workspace setup tool to complete this task if you don't already have it open in another tab you gotta click below to open it click this link right here and google workspace suggests you follow the instructions in the uh, setup tool and only return to this page if you need additional information all right now here's how to activate gmail for google workspace find your dns records i assume by now you are on your godaddy account because you've logged in using your credentials now find the uh, domain you're setting up today and click the uh three buttons tab here then choose manage dns option right here all i gotta do is set up the mx records for google workspace all right now you need to check your list of dns records say for example you see existing mx records delete them right you have to delete them click the button next to it now repeat these steps until you've deleted all mx records that you can find on this dashboard right now you need to click add at the top of the uh, dns records table right here click on add and of course you need to complete the form Select MX for the type, enter at for the name right here, set the priority to one, enter smtp.google.com in the value field, and leave the TTL field set to default right here. And click add record to create your new MX record. Now you need to uh, tell Google Workspace to activate Gmail. Once again, return to the browser tab where you have the Google Workspace setup tool open. 
course you can reopen the tool if you close it scroll to the bottom of the page and click activate gmail all right it's very important that some registers may require additional time to publish your mx records and if the google workspace setup tool can find your new records wait an hour before you try it again and if you need additional help with your dns settings please contact your register they are experts in managing your domain and are eager to help you all right and then once again you might have to wait and try it again say for example see if your google workspace can not find your mx records you can come back in a couple of hours and click the activate button again after you activate gmail updates can take up to 48 hours until the rest of the internet notices your new mx records and you'll still get email messages in your old email client okay so we're done using it in the google workspace now what we can do we can hover to godaddy all right you can set up remote access for a gmail account with pop3 all right so here's the steps in setting up pop3 and gmail before you can add remote access in workspace email you'll need to set up pop3 and gmail of course it's the same thing you need to sign into your gmail account and in the upper right corner select the cog icon settings and then see all settings select the forwarding and pop imap tab next to pop download choose enable pop for all mail or enable pop for mail that arrives from now on select save changes now here you can set up remote access in workspace email to follow these steps you must be in classic view sign into web email you can now use your workspace email address and pro password and your godaddy username and passwords won't work here now in classic view select settings right here and then personal settings now after doing so select the remote email tab and select add new for type choose gmail from the list right here of course you need to enter your gmail username and password now for delivery folder select inbox or your preferred folder from the list select the filter spam and apply delivery rules check box to move spam to a folder of your choice all right and select the check automatically check box to have workspace email automatically on the uh, email service and when you're using pop3 a copy of the email you download is an automatically save to the server so we recommend doing this and again all you gotta do if you're sure about all the information and settings are correct click ok and i believe that's a wrap for today's video thank you so much for watching guys if you have further questions and topics you would like us to cover leave down on the comments below i will see you again in our next video. Thank you so much for watching.